Hi guys, today I will show you how to make 3D logo using 2D scalable vector graphics. If you want to use different logo than mine, go ahead. Let's craft the 3D logo in Blender, since it's free and change the minimalistic style to something more organic. Also the material is node based and fully adjustable, so we can have infinite variations and also resolution independent texture. So let's drift to the Blender. First thing we need is to import the SVG file. I don't recommend importing it as a grease pencil file. Usually the text outline doesn't work properly, so delete it. And you have to import it as a scalable vector graphic file. Once the file is imported, I have to scale it up a little bit. Also, for a better workflow, I've put the origin into the center of the object. I'm going to join the text because it will make the job much easier. Extrude the text in the curve properties and do the same thing for the logo. Now select both curves, duplicate them and move them to the new collection. We will use it later for an external outline. Now we have backup for both our curves, so now we will convert the curve to the mesh. I want to separate the top part and the side part, because I will be using different materials on each part. In edit mode select the middle part and press separate by selection. I want the edges to stand out a bit so I made the top and the bottom slightly smaller. Now the same thing we did to the logo we will do to the text as well, so convert it to the mesh, select faces and separate them by selection. Since we divided the logo already, let's add thickness to the side part with solidify modifier. If the scaling goes crazy, just apply the scale with Ctrl A. This will change the object's underlying transformation data to match its current visible size and proportions. Also check even thickness for better quality. It is better for sharp corners, which is our case. Do the same for the text and also scale the top faces down. Also you can add a plane for the logo to sit on, so add a plane and use the face snapping feature to snap the logo on the ground. Also I don't know why is the shading set like this, so you can either set auto smooth if you have hard ops add on, or you can shade it flat for now, we don't have any bevels yet. Now it's the time when we will use backup curves to make an edge around the logo. Select them, go to curve properties and increase the depth for some roundness and decrease the extrude factor. This will make the middle geometry pop out of the boundary that creates another layer that looks like outline. Now let's go to the shading. For the upper part I've decided to not use regular industrial steel. Instead I will be using Damascus steel which has more interesting and organic look. The best part is that it will be procedural so we can adjust any value or make animations. I won't be talking at this part but I will play some music in the background so you can focus on work.
Okay, now we have a detailed material that looks like Damascus steel, but with more distortion and randomness, so let's continue with the tutorial. Next thing we will be adding is blur effect with empty which will be used as a focus target. So add empty, snap it on the surface and check depth of field feature in camera properties. Select the empty as a focus object and play with the f-stops to change the strength of the blur in the background. Shading is done by now so let's find some good looking environment texture with good light source to produce nice metal reflection. Once you download one, import it to the blender and play with the zero rotation value in mapping node to find the perfect angle. For the plain material it took me some time to find a good texture that would aesthetically fit the Damascus pattern on the logo. I was trying different color and material combinations with some ambient occlusion boost and I ended up with a regular material with albedo texture exchange just with a black color, which I think it works the best. So at the end I would just say that you need to try different settings, textures and colors, so you can have more variations of your render and then you can choose your favorite one. We approach the end of this video so thanks for watching and again I am still a beginner on YouTube and these videos are taking hours of my time to process them from start to finish so if you learned how to make a logo today you can at least like the video so the algorithm likes me as well. If you also subscribe I will be glad for that and you will be rewarded with similar tutorials like this so technically speaking it's a win-win for both of us. This is the end I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.